I'm going to start dissecting the female rat first. But before we start dissecting, we have to secure this animal to the tray. And to do that, we use these devices called flesh hooks. So they hook around one part of the animal, usually one of the limbs, and to the edge of the tray, and that spreads the animal out and secures it nicely to the tray. So now that is done, let me briefly introduce to you the instruments that I'm going to be using for the dissection. And I have my three usual tools. The scalpel, which will be used primarily just to cut the body wall open and then we get rid of it. The scissors for further opening the body wall, often a tool that um, is safer to use for both yourself and uh, the animal in terms of destruction of tissue. Um, and the dissector's best friend is the blunt probe. So this is the one that we will use to tease apart organs and membranes and expose the structures that we are really interested in. Okay, so before I start cutting, I want to mention that I have taken some safety precautions I'm wearing gloves, for instance, because this rat has been uh, fixed in formaldehyde to preserve the tissues. And I'm also wearing my safety goggles. So now that I am very safe, uh, let's start the dissection. And I will start that by opening the body wall and exposing the internal organs from the neck all the way down to the tail. You can see that I've dissected the throat area extensively. So now I want to show you the glands of the throat. And these are exocrine glands. And it may look like a bit of a mess to you, so I hope I can clarify things and I'm going to zoom in a bit. Let's start with um, a nice landmark. This, the trachea. That little pink spot at the top of the trachea, right there, is the thyroid gland. This larger one here that is loose and it's been cut, and it's not easy to dissect these glands, they're quite close to the surface. Uh, this is the submandibular gland. And there should be one on either side. This one's was removed during the dissection. Now let me rotate this animal a little bit and show you the parotid gland, which is near the ear of the animal, just under the skin. So that's the parotid right there. And there's one last one, and it's uh, called the uh, sublingual. So we have a sublingual gland right here. And there should be two, one on either side of the trachea. So the one on the other side is, uh, is this tissue here. So those are the salivary glands, three paired 
sets of glands. So let's work our way uh, down and we now have the heart in focus. And there's a gland that is associated with the top of the heart. It's called the thymus. So this tissue here, that's a slightly different color, beige-ish, is thymus gland. Another exocrine gland, very important one, one that I'm sure you've heard of. And it's a digestive gland, so I am going to find another landmark, and in this case the landmark is going to be the stomach. Here, let me zoom out a little bit to give you guys a better view. So the stomach is on the other side of the diaphragm. So here we have the diaphragm. So the stomach is this structure here. And the pancreas is usually nestled amongst the uh, tissue of the small intestine, the duodenum, that is um, adjacent to the stomach. So we find the stomach, then we find the small intestine, and in that region, I should find a slightly pinkish diffuse tissue. See, the pancreas is not like a, it's not like the spleen, right? Here's the spleen. It's not a big solid piece. It's sort of a grainy uh, distributed tissue that doesn't have a, a solid body to it. So it's usually in here. And I can see it spread around. Do you see this pinkish tissue that is attached to uh, the membranes that tie the small intestine together. So that was the pancreas. Another exocrine gland associated with the kidney, the adrenal gland. So here we have the kidney and the adrenal gland sits very nicely on top of the kidney. So if this is the nice bean-shaped kidney. Look, it looks just like a kidney bean. Do you see the lighter shaded tissue right here? So that is adrenal gland, this small bit 